Hello, my name is Klaus Halfmann and I'm a developer for Whitelands. Today I want to show you some basics about roads and economies in general. I watched some novice players doing roads in such a bad way that I decided to emphasize some basics. You might play, play Whitelands without ever using them, but you will never get a smooth running economy without them. So take a look at this strange map, I designed it in the map editor and played a little bit until I got here. That's not a normal scenario, but well, for this demo it's quite okay. So, what we now want to do, we want to make some 50, uh, 100 granite move from this headquarter to this warehouse. So, what I will do now is create a road from the headquarter to the warehouse. And you'll see there will be one carrier and he would start to go to the road and be placed in the middle of the road. So if we want to get stones, granite here, so we can say uh, move all the rares, preferably store them here. And then we can say remove selected rares from here. And now we will see all the stones to the headquarter and this poor carrier has to carry all the stones here from the headquarter to the warehouse. So we are now at game time let's say 32 and mm, the idea is how do we this can we do this as fast as possible. Mm. One idea is perhaps to increase the game time so we see this poor guy running around the game speed uh, running around and um, carrying this stone to the warehouse. So, mm, so this took about, uh, let's say one minute, no, let's try again, um, 5, 35, here we are, let's say about one minute. Okay, um, carrying this 100 stones then will take a lot of time, 100 minutes, uh, that's about uh, more than an hour. Yeah, so you see, this is perhaps not the optimal way. Let's do it in a better fashion. Perhaps. So what we can do is put flex everywhere here. So this should improve things. Yeah, we, we have no carrier here, so we don't see anything here, but sooner or later we'll get more carriers. So. So let's see. About 88 stones here. Let's see how long a single stone will be. single stone will be as fast as with single carrier because carriers are always moved from left to right and back and so the single stone will not be faster but all the stones will be much faster because of the many carriers will combine them with even good oxen here oh, this is kind of spoiling my time so but let's see seven because I didn't place place flex in the optimal order. Okay, let's see. Now I'll increase the game time. Speed. How long will it take? Start at about 35. Don't want to be really exact. and you see why because here the carrier the last carrier always needs an extra two to go inside the building so this gives some extra counts so this is something we have to check for if we can improve this later as of the oxen this improves and it's 
why I'm always find carrying animals at the, about the warehouse. So here we are, started 25. One of the stones here, yeah, empty. And here we are. And 35. Uh, 45. Okay, now let's do this again, and this time I move some out, and we create it the other way, and with a control click. So I hope you know this one, this control click will create all the flags as needed with one click. See all the carriers here and the lost carriers in the middle come back to our road. Everything fine, and now we do it the other way around. And say, store them here. We start at 51, let's say 52. And away here, yeah, 52. And takes always a bit until. And as we recreate this route, the idea about busy roads was lost, so the Oxnavka now. So, and now again you see. So what we can do now is create double the road, like this here. So we didn't do it on the way. Okay, yep. Okay. Now we have double the road, so I expect this to be about 7 minutes now. We started about 51, let's see. So here I'm again with my second try with double roads because my video software kind of lost me, so let's see, I try this again, I'd say export, remove selected bars from here, and now it's 43, 27. This time I note down as time. 27. And now, let's see. Stones are placed here. Oops. One round. So, or later the second round should kick in. Let's see. Yes, here now. I think as long as there is one carrier on its way, they want to start the second road, but algorithms are not so bad. So let's see, we start with 34, 27, and now uh, let's see. It's not exactly 100 stones, but 102, but well. We don't get a congestion here, but on the other side, so we'd expect some oxen to appear here really soon now. Big discussion about the developers, what, how to improve this, because it's a general, it's, it's quite good. So... Stones here. Okay, my second quad. Uh, so the second is not as, as much as I expected. Okay, the problem is the headquarters cannot push out wares much faster. Okay. So I would expect the second road won't help that very much. It will help a bit, but it's for the last stone. It's 44. So, as so often, this is not a linear improvement, but only from 15 minutes to 10 minutes. So, I will now set up another variant with three roads, but as of my findings, I think it will not become much faster. Let's try it. 
but if it's another way. So, yeah, I'm back and you see we now have three roads. I have a problem with my map here, but I think I could work around this and recycle those flags in the middle. So, this should work. So, let's give it a try. Remove everything from here. And here we go. Come on. Okay. Maybe the second circle now. Even the third road is used. So, everything fine. Let's see how this looks in the middle. Okay. All fine here. No congestion anywhere. Some congestion here. No, because we have enough carriers. Not so many stones. Oh, I have to look at my own video how long this took now. <coughs> I have to tell you later. A bit better with some of the two words. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I wanted to show you an issue that happen sometimes, you see those flags, they are not in the usual distance of two flags, but three flags. For some reason this happens sometimes, because you may not have an even number of flags or whatever. So if we now, my example, I'm being transported, this is in trouble. So everything should be quite smooth until we arrive at the middle. As I'm a musician as well, I think we come out kind of out of rhythm. Let's see. Now, this one has to carry a longer way, so what happens? Stones start piling up here. Don't take some time when you get a pile of stones here. And on the other side, Areas are more idle than normally. It's a perfect rhythm, everybody can carry just one item at a time, everything will be fine. So, I think that's what oxen were invent invented for carrying animals. So, one solution that sometimes can be done is just create an extra room. And you think this extra road is perhaps a detour, but in the end it will speed up things. You'll see the, the carrier coming, and it will care for the wares. Yeah. And ah oh, well, we did it not totally correct because now the pileup will happen here. But let's do it this way. And sooner or later, some. Carriers would pick up here. And now we should be as fast as. You see, even the carrier in the middle is not used because the normal carriers do it fast enough. So, so at any time, try to avoid those extra three uh, parts away. Flex, I think, just, I think it may be clear. If not, I'll give you some more examples. Perhaps. But that's something for the comments. Okay, and now I need some more time to read enough oxen and make this oxen only. But this will take some time. Uh, come to back to you in a minute in video, but in real time I have to do some more. Okay, yeah, I'm back and I took some time to breed some, okay, some oxen. You can see I have still some four left now, but I took some time. All the roads are busy. And you notice here some extra trick. I did another extra road for the warehouse to accommodate, compensate for the effect that the carrier has to go into the warehouse. So, that's why it's 25.57 and out we go. Here we go. The trick 
playing with game speed in normal game does not really help because you only focus on the game and the opponent, even the AI, in the AI will have time to do other things. So it's about real game time how to do the speed up. So let's see. It's looking really smooth here. So we not well, need an extra road here, but here. See, no congestion here as a section of the perhaps. Word Savior is correct to have those extra roads connected to the first track and from there to opposite directions. Because I know this in this game has much less congestion than I have done, it's really fast. First half, about five minutes. Now. Still about only nine minutes. Okay. So maybe I'll do a textual ramp up. So I think it's not possible to have much more speed up because the limiting speed is now the speed how fast things are expected from a warehouse. And I think we were able to cope with this one. Let's try it the other way. One moment. Here we go again. Okay, do we get any congestion here? Yeah. This is a kind of asymmetry because a carrier is needed to carry something in, but from the inside there will come an extra carrier or worker. So we have no congestion here, so it will be impossible to speed up this up even more. So, so far for this, I may show you some other tricks in the meanwhile. So, you know that you can set desired wares here. If you go to the so called flag menu, or put the yeah, configure the economy. So, for some reason, I will now configure everything down to here. See this multiple section perhaps. So if we check now here at this other flag, it will be down to zero as well. So this is how all one big economy. But now I will disconnect this flag here and change something on this flag. So let's say I want 20 blackwood. So if we now check here. Nothing has changed. And this actually is as intended. If you check here, we still have the 20 blackboard. It can happen that you have two distinct economies because it falls apart because of enemy or you're playing two uh, parties at the same time. So an economy only goes from as long as I connect the beer flex. Connect it back here. Let's see what happens. Still 20 here. And still 20 here. That's can be become a bit of a mystery because the two economies are merged and one of the economies will win because of the desired quantity of rest. It may become to a surprise if you merge some economies and the desired quantities economy options are not what you expected. So if you have such, found such an issue, it may be related to this one, but it's okay to have it. I intend to have always all roads connected, so I have only one, one really big economy until I really have issues. So, maybe I'm done here, so I'll say goodbye now, but maybe have some time and maybe I'll find some other tricks to show you. Goodbye then!